What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Mudsdale team right here. And I'm hyped for it because Mudsdale has been dominating the meta and I have not made a video on him. So here we go, here we go. This team looks awesome. It was actually used to get ranked number one in the last season. So pretty, pretty cool, pretty solid team right here. But if you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, it only takes a second of you guys' time to help support the channel and help it grow. Rocking out on this team, we have the Togekiss and Grimmsnarl in the top two spots right here. These guys are going to be like our setter up Pokemons. Grimmsnarl has the Light Clay with, with Reflect, Light Screen, Swagger, and Fake Tears. No damage moves. He's just there to kind of set up and all that good stuff. But if you can get the screens going, your Mudsdale is going to tank out. It's rocking the Assault Vest with all of its good coverage damage moves with High Horsepower, Rock Slide, Heavy Slam, and Close Combat. So like I said, you get those screens on top of the Assault Vest, he's not going to die. He is not going to die. He's going to be able to die and Max and kind of just outrun everything and just take everything out you got this toe kiss over here with that follow me yawn little setup combo there normal setup with a tokus you got that storm chain gash down also on the team which is huge against water pokemon especially if they want to come out against your mudsdale and you have this Duraldon. like i said i always been be using Duraldon. Duraldon is just so strong not to use he's so strong in the meta right now especially with this mudsdale like come on those two are an absolute beast this is why his team is so good and then in the final spot is the Arcanine. Arcanine is going to be used very well. It has Snarl right here to drop special attack. So if they want to go out and special attack in Pokemon, we'll just drop their special attack. Kind of just take them out for the game. Unless they, and maybe force a swap out. Something along those lines. Also has Safeguard. Can protect us from Sleep Powders and all that good stuff. So this team covers a lot. It really does cover a lot. If you guys would like to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. I seriously highly recommend it. And if you guys do use it, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys do with it. Also, let me know for question of the day. What do you guys think Pokemon has to do to change up the meta? Because the meta has just been the same since Season 1. It's been Trick Room teams. Everyone's been using Duraldon, Mudsdale, Charizard. Like, what do you guys think they have to do? In my opinion, I think they have to dial down Trick Room. I think they have to make it four turns. I think that will help out a little bit. Like, because five turns is a lot. And Tailwind's four turns. So, like, I think if they make Trick Room four turns, it can kind of dial down on the trick room hype but guys let's get on to these battles and try to get some wins i can't believe this is our first time using mudsdale for a video on the channel like that's a little weird he's just been dominating the meta and i haven't used him yet but better late than ever who's this guy going into he's probably gonna try to get the speed advantage on me or he could roll trick room with the rune Rigus. um i'm gonna go grimmy grim arcanine i think mudsdale and gash i think that's gonna be a good nice little team right here let me let me take a look let me take a look again we have the steel spike like What's called cover so much? The Mudsdale covers so much. I'm going to try to set up the screens and potentially swap the Grimstar out or get the Mudsdale in to swag them up. Hmm. I think this is a good call. This is a good call. He has a, he has a decent amount of special attackers here. He has a decent amount. So we're chilling. We can snarl them up with our Arcanine. Drop their special attack. We can potentially put burns on them and go all around there. But guys, you want to catch more content from me, head and link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. You guys already know the deal. Come hang out. We stream four plus days every single week. It's tons of fun. But who are you going into? The Whimsicott, obviously. Milotic Whimsicott. Um, do we swap right away? Do we swap right away? Or do we think he's going for an Icy win? I can totally see him going for an Icy win. But I might just swap right away just to play it safe. Set up a light screen. I think that's the play. He's going to outspeed us regardless. So I don't care if he goes for an Icy win. But that was a good call for him to go into the competitive Milotic. Now he's plus one. Now he's plus one, which is scary. So we're going to set up the light screen here. Light screen. Dun, dun. Eh, eh. Um, I could drop a safeguard. Hmm. Could drop a safeguard. But I seriously think I'm just gonna swap to the gash. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe. Hopefully he goes to a water move. But I think he's gonna go into an ice beam or an icy win. Oh, we get a double swap. We get a double swap. He's gonna swap in his Grim Snarl. Now would have been a great time to actually put out the Dale, but not really. Not really, because if he's just going into a water move on my Arcanine, it's gonna do some work. Yeah, Sean's going to pop. We're going to do a double swap action. I wonder what he's going for. Hopefully, he's going for the water move. He's Dynamaxing. Show me the geyser, but I think it's going to be Hailstorm. I would love to see a nice little geyser here. Nice little geyser action. We're going to get this light screen off, so we're going to be able to eat up a little bit more. He's probably going to uh, start doing his own thing. I should have maybe set up the safeguard. But no, this is this is why. Because if he's going into a geyser, it would have dumped on my Arcanine. But the safeguard would have been huge if this is a T-Wave. It probably is a T-Wave Grimstraw. Let's see what happens. We get the screen up. So this is going to make if he goes into a hailstorm less damage but hopefully he goes to the geyser yes okay gash Nine comes up big here good call by me storm drain baby what you want you're boosting my special attack um i could go into a fake tears hmm 
Or I could swagger that thing. No, fake tears is competitive. It's competitive all day. Uh, I'm gonna just set up a reflect in case maybe sucker punches are rolling through. And then we can go into a little bit of a uh, earth power. I might swap out my Grimmsnarl after this. I'm gonna earth power over on the Grimmsnarl. I think we, no, we might not outspeed the Milotic. Let's see. Fake out comes here. Okay, that, that, that's fine. That's totally fine. We'll set up this reflect for later. But now that we have the screens up, our Mudsdale is going to survive a lot. He's going to go into the Hailstorm, I think, over on my boy. Over on my Grimmy Grim. Let's see. Oh, no. Over on my Gastro. Gastro does eat. Um, I can totally eat up and go into a Recover next turn. Not even going to lie. We can go into a Recover next turn. I knew I should have went in. Oh, weak flinched anyway. That's not a big deal. Hell's going to buff it on the Milotic. Going to buff it all around. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Um, I think I'm going to go into the Arcanine. I think I'm totally going to the Arcanine from here. Get this Grimmsnarl out the way. Go out into the Arcanine. And then just go into a recover. I'm just going to a recover here. Play this one slow because once we get that Grimmsnarl uh, Mudsnarl combo out, we'll own tempo with Dynamax. If we can just take out his Dynamax turns, it could be huge. Let's see what happens here. Intimidate. Oh, man. I probably shouldn't have done that. Competitive is going to pop. This will probably take out my, my gas show here. It's probably gonna take out my gash over here. If you double into it, let's see. He's probably doubling into it. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, eat it up, Gastro. Eat it up, buddy. We do survive. Tell me. Oh, and our berry. Let's get it. Let's get it. Recover is gonna be huge. All right, that, that's fine by me. That is actually fine by me. Once we get the, the Mudsdale in, we should be chilling. Spirit Break's popping here. He was going after my Grimstone. We'll eat that up, no problem. Good thing we swapped into that. It was good and bad. It was good and bad, to be honest. <laughs> Recover's gonna go here. We are just gonna waste these turns. I just gotta remember not to drop that thing's special attack. Like, just not drop his stats, because it's just gonna be competitive. It's just tough. That's why the Intimidate is so bad up against a competitive violent attack. Like, he's already plus two on the board. And we're kinda, we're sitting in a good position. Not even gonna lie, we have all of our Pokemon. Her Dynamax is over. We can start teeing off our, what's it called? Our Gashon is plus one. So I think a nice earth power can do some work. We can go for a heat wave, can go for a safeguard. Uh, I'm going to actually throw up a safeguard here. He cannot go for water moves, and we're gonna start uh, punking on this Milotic. It's just in case he is T-Wave, I could totally see him potentially being a T-Wave little boy. He's gonna protect, that's that's totally fine by me. Get this safeguard up. Reflex gonna come from him. That is fine. We are special attacking on both our Pokemon. On both our Pokemon, this is going to be a nice long match here. This is going to be a long match, but I, th I feel like we're going to prevail in the end. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. Buffets come out. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. I could go for the burn on the Milotic. I could put the burn on the Milotic. Uh, okay, I'm just going to go for the Heat Wave here. I'm just going for the Heat Wave, potentially go for double burn, and I'm going to double into the Milotic with an Earth Power. Come on, baby! I cannot wait to get the Mudsdale out. I know the screens are running low, but we still have our Grimstar. We can set up more screens as we please. As we please. And, and we have our own Dynamax. But here comes the Heat Wave. Can we just see any burns? Any burns? No burns. Icy Wind's popping. You, you can slow us down. We are already slower than your Pokemon. Like, that's fine by me. This is... I'm telling you, this is going to be a slow, long, drawn-out rank battle match. Like, this is what you get when you come up into the higher ranks. It's just like... It's going to be good plays. We're just going to try to waste things out. Earth Power is going to come through. This should do a decent amount. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Could have been better. Could have been better. <laughs> Earth Power. It's going to be long, guys. It's going to be long. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Buffets pop. We are chilling now. I don't want to swap. Like, why should I be the one to swap? We're just going to go into another Heat Wave here. And we're going to roll into another Earth Power over on this mile. This thing's recovered. It's recovered. That's going to be a pain. Maybe we should just go after the, the Grim Snarl. Maybe we should just go after the Grimstarl. It has recovered. Can we get a burn on somebody? Yes! Okay, get it on the Milotic. That is huge. That would be nice. Ooh. Ooh. Are you Lumberry? A little Lumberry action. I'm going to just Willow Wish you next turn. Life do. Ooh, scary. <sighs> what do I do from here? What do I do from here? I don't want to just swap Mudsdale. I don't want to just swap Mudsdale. That is just terrible. <laughs> I don't want to just swap Mudsdale. Like, I know I need to get my Mudsdale up in here. He's going to double into my Gash, Don. We eat, though. I'm going to just recover next turn. Oh, my lord. This match, guys. This match! Bang. We need a crit or something. <laughs> nice little damage there. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Hmm. I have a safeguard off. We're just going to Will-O-Wisp over on the Milotic. 
I'm gonna go into the Grim Snarl over with an Earth Power. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Will the Wisp, nah, you take that, buddy. I should have done that a while ago, but I was I was hoping on my Heat Wave to do it. But you did, but then he was just Lumberry, so now we got the burn on. Oh my lord, this match, man, this match! <laughs> it's gonna be one of the longest matches I ever played. Just stall, it's just stall. It's just we're just waiting for our chances. Like, he doesn't have a Dynamax though. That's gonna be huge for us. Like, I wouldn't mind if you take out my Arcanine. Like, go after my Arcanine, thank you. Let's see what is going to happen. Da -da -da -da. Earth power. Da yeet. Do some work. <sighs> Bro, this is gonna be a long one. I think I'm gonna make the first move. I think I'm gonna make the first move. I'm gonna get swap in here. I'm gonna get swap in. Arcanine, get out of here. We get the Dale. I said we get the Grim Snarl in. And now we just go into a recover here. Just to keep my Gastron at full health. And then we're going to swap the what's it called in here. We are going to swap the Mudsdale in. And I'm totally going to go into a what's it called right after this. I see one popping. I'm going to swap my Gastron here. And I'm going to go straight into a Swagger. There's no way you're, going into, you're doubling into a Spirit Break on my Grim Snarl. That'll be tough news. Oh, you little bitch. Show me he's going for Yeah, she's going for my Gastron. I was going to say. I was going to say. There's no way you're going for another one on, on my Arcanine. That did nothing. The screens might be ending soon. The screens might be ending. This is this is match, dude. Okay. Bang. Nice health back. Um, We are totally going to go own tempo Mudstale here. Light screen wears off. That is uh, tough. No safeguard either. But I think own tempo is still our call. We saw the reflect. No, 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 no. Grimstar is going to go into the, the swagger over on you. And then we're going to play the swap card. There's no way you're predicting us swapping out here. Here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. And then we can set up the light screen next turn. And be very bulky with our assault vest. Oh, this match would have been so long if I'm not trying to make a play here. Because, <laughs> all honesty, if I wasn't recording, I would have played this one out. I would have played this one out all day. But I want to get into the action. I want to get into the action. Okay, he's going to withdraw Snarl. That is totally fine by me. Hydrogon's going to pop here. That's fine by me. We're going into the Dale. We're going into the Dale. Gonna own Tempo the boy. But this is a, actually a very, very good match. This is a very, very good match. Swagger's gonna pop here. Bruh, bruh, don't do me dirty. Don't do me dirty like that. Come on, don't you dare do me dirty like that. Oh, that is terrible. That is just terrible. You're missing your Swagger. Don't you do me dirty like that. I gotta go for it again. I gotta go for it again. I am gonna Dynamax here and throw a nice little Max Knuckle over on the Hydreigon. Potentially take it out. If we get the Swagger off, we do get the Swagger off. We know the water moves coming in on my Mudsdale now, but we should be chilling with the Soul Fest and then get the Light Screen up next turn if we don't miss our Swagger. If we don't miss the Swagger. <laughs> if we do get the Swagger off, we should be able to take out the Hydreigon. One tap, then we'll be plus three on the board. Okay, that's fine. You can swap. You can swap you going into the Grim Snarl, not the Snarl. That's fine by me. I really don't care. This is a very, very, very good match, to be honest. Now we're using our Dynamax. Now we're using our Dynamax. Come on, Swagger. I need Swagger to land. We'll get that. We'll get the attack boost. And then I can set up the Light Screen. And we would be so bulky. We would be so bulky with that Assault Pass. Unless this thing has knockoff, and that's what he's going to try to do. But we're chilling. We're chilling. Bam, 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 bam. See what happens here. Swagger. Thank you. Thank you. It landed this time, guys. It landed. It landed. Own tempo. Nah. We, we're not being confused. Icy window. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Now we'll get the light screen off. Now we will get the light screen off. Do I take out the Milotic or do I boost our defense here? Here comes our knuckle. We are we're going to be plus three on the attack board. That's going to be huge. Now ye. Do some nice damage over to the Grimmsnarl. Our attack, we get the attack buff. That's what I want it. The burn's gonna pop here. Do I think he's going for a water move? Um, it'll be fine if he does. I am totally going to light screen this. And I'm going to drop. I could drop a steel spike, but the max quake would probably be the best bet. Stab into the Milotic with plus three attack. Like, come on, we're coming for you. We come for you, Milotic. I don't think it's gonna go for a protect, to be honest. I seriously think it's going to try to get a water move on me. But the light screen will actually help us eat it up. Come on, Mudsdale! I need you here. Longest match ever. This is the longest match I think I, I've ever played. It's going to go the distance. I think it's going to time out. Or we're just going to start dominating here. Icy Wind's going to pop. 
the light screen helps us out so much. Like I said, bulky boy. Bulky boy. I don't care if you drop the mud sail speed. It's already slow enough to begin with. So that's fine. Grimmsnarl is going to Spirit Break, take out my Grimmsnarl. I'm fine with it. We're going to start taking out Pokemon here. It is time. It is time. <laughs> We're done dilly-dallying around with the Grimmsnarls and the Milo Ticks and all that. We are ready to attack. Get him. Plus three, Max Quake, stab into the Milo Tick. Bye bye, Milo Tick. Let's go. Now we're now we're now we're sitting good. Now we are sitting good. Our special defense is up with one. I'm not worried about the Hydreigon. I really am not. He has no Dynamax. Reflect does wear off. That's fine. We have the light screen up. Um Arcanine Pops. Gastron. Let's go Gastron here. Gastrodon! Yeah. He's gonna go Wimscout. We should have went to Arcanine. He's gonna boost his speed now. I mean, that's no problem. He might fake tears, actually, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to take off the Wimscott Sash with an Earth Power. Or no, with, mm, they both don't really do too, too much. I mean, I'm going to go here. I might just drop a Rock Ball, or I'm going to Steel Spike into the Wimscott. It's probably Sash. It's probably Sash, but we'll take it down. And then we go into, like, a Max Rock Ball and the Grimmsnarl and take it out. Unless this Earth Power can take out, but I don't think it is because we are plus zero on the special attack board. He's going to go for the Reflect. Smart little cookie. I mean, the Whimscott was probably Sash, like I said, to begin with. Dude, this thing's just an absolute beast. Okay, you can take out my Gastron. Bye, Gastrodon. That is fine. That is fine by me. I seriously think we have this one in the bag. I seriously do think we're chilling with this one. With my Mudsdale. Nah, you. It's all he has is special attackers left. The thing is Sash. Um, how can I roll out here? How can I roll out here? Max Rockfall? Mm. I mean, Rockfall could be good. Because the Buffets could take it out and we could double into the... Oh no, Heat Wave. We'll just Heat Wave it and take out the Grimmsnarl. We'll just Heat Wave it and potentially go into a Max Knuckle. Max Knuckle? Could be could be good. Intimidate's going to pop. We got this one in the bag. See, we could play the long game. But I swapped at the perfect time to actually get my Mudsdale in here and start rolling out and do some work. This is what he was scared of. This is what he was scared of. He was like, I cannot swap because I'm gonna just going to take the game. Uh, let's go Heat Wave. Call us one a game. Heavy Slam. Into the Grimmsnarl. Say night night, baby. Say night night. We go into a close combat off the Hydreigon. We're chilling, we're chilling. GG, baby. Long match. How long was that match? Was that like a 20 minute match? <laughs> it felt like 20 minutes. I don't know how long it is. But we can probably only fit uh, two videos into this or two battles into this video now. But still, this was a very good one. I'm glad I got to show all this off. Like, kind of how to play this team. Like, you can play this team so slow like this. And then just get the Mudsdale in. Swagger him up. This is night night. This is night night. Spirit breaks in a pop. We'll eat that up. Easy. Easy Eatons. Easy Eatons. Uh, I doubt the Hydreigon's gonna take us out in one shot. No, like, not, not a chance. Not a chance. He has to take out my Mudsdale in one shot. But I can just see him quitting after this. this what's, what's he probably rocking? Flamethrower. Dra a dragon move. Potential T-Bolt. It's just a coverage Pokemon. It is just a coverage Pokemon. He probably has to choice Scarf on him. To outspeed, but he's gonna outspeed us regardless. Because Hydreigon's rather fast. He's on the faster side. But we're gonna get this win. We're gonna play that one so well. We played this one so well, which is dope. Which is dope. I'm really glad I did get the show off. This match. Um, let's just go into a let's just go into a heat wave, potentially gonna burn. But the close combat is gonna one-tap it up. What are we? Plus three on the attack board? Yes, sir! Plus three, baby. Dark Pulse. He's gonna try to flinch me. Yo, leave me alone. We eat that up, no problem. And we're not gonna flinch. Watch. We're not gonna flinch. We're gonna miss though. And we are gonna flinch. Get out my face! <laughs> Get out my face! Heat wave again. Into the close combat. He's gonna try to flinch us down. That is his last option. He's gonna go into another dark pulse. Keep trying to make us flinch, flinch, flinch. <laughs> Don't you dare tell me I flinch again. Heat wave. Okay, heat wave lands. That's a little bit of damage. I, I just need this to land. I just need this close combat to land. Dude, stop it. Stop it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do me dirty like this. <laughs> Just as I say, I'm going to win. Dark Pulse. Stop. Stop. Mudsdale. There's no way you go three in a row. Not a chance. Okay, we get a crit. Come on, Mudsdale. Thank you. Thank you, Mudsdale. GG. <laughs> I thought he was going to flinch again and he was going to go down. I was going to be so mad. But let's go. We got a crit to kind of make up for that, but we were going to kill him anyway. GG to this guy. Long, great match. Jeez, I can't believe how good that match was. I'm glad we ended up getting that win in the end.
Hopping into the second match, probably our final match considering that last one was so long, but we're chilling here. We're chilling here. He does have this Bisharp right here. He has a Milotic. I might go in with the same squad. I might just go in with that same team, considering that these are the Pokemon I really do want to show off with this team, considering I, sh I, I always show off the, the round on <laughs> and the token kisses. But we're definitely going to be needing that Gash on a case of Milotic. Hopefully, we don't have another stall little match here. But I'm going to lead the Grim Snarl Arcanine here. That thing is probably competitive. Maybe, oh, I wish I could back out. Maybe I should have just went into the Mudsdale right off the rip. Um, honestly, I should have went to the Mudsdale right off the rip. I mean, unless he goes into the Gudra. But we could always fake tier it. And drop that thing in special defense. But I think he's going to go into the Milotic. Trigger the competitive once again with our Intimidate. Which is fine. Just totally fine. <laughs> but I... Then I can't go with Snarls. That's my tough thing. Then that's when I would have to swap swap them out back to the Gastron once again. Let's see. Don't you dare show me Milotic. Gudra and Arcanine. Okay, that's actually chilling for us. We can go into the Snarl right off the rip and set up a Light Screen. I'm fine with it. I'm digging it. Double Intimidates back and forth. That's fine. That is fine. My Grim Snarl has no attack moves. I really do like the set though. I really do like the set on them with the no attacks. There's a bunch of screens, swaggers. And a special defense drop. Like, that's that's wonderful. Right, let's get a light screen here. Light screen here and a snarl. I can totally see him Dynamax into Guja right off the rip. I'm going for a Max Geyser. Right, maybe I should have swapped my Gashanon, but let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. I, I can see us eating it up with our light screen and the snarl. Because we should be faster than the Guja. I feel as that. And if he goes to the Max Geyser here, then we'll swap next turn. Here goes the D Max. Scary. Scary. Let's see if he... I think he maybe tried predicting us going into the gas room. I hope so. I hope he goes for the max overgrowth. <laughs> Let's see what happens. But if we do eat this up, we know he'll go for another max geyser. There's no way he's going to read the swap on the second turn. If we don't swap on the first turn. And that's tough news. But we did get the screen up. The screen. Hopefully my snarl comes out before the Gujra goes. Let's see what happens. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, no, the opposing. Stop it. We, we're doing the same thing. Is mine going to go now? Zar should be about the same speed. And then we can drop the Gujra down to minus one special attack. Yep. Beautiful. And we'll drop the Gujra down to one special attack. We get a crit on the Arcanine. We take those. We take those. And I don't think the Gujra is going to do too, too much damage here. I really do not see it. Hopefully it does go into a max geyser. Let's see what it does. It does go into the geyser. That's fine. We should be able to eat with minus one and the light screen up. And we have our barrier. Barry's probably going to trigger now. Yep. Barry's going to trigger. And then we're going to go into a, what's it called now? We're going to swap into our Gastro. I would gastro down. I mean that berry though. Or do I just snarl again? I could totally just snarl again. I could totally do that, but mm, I could swagger that thing. I am gonna swagger the Gudra. Considering it is special attacking, we're gonna try to have it hit itself, and then we are going to swap. Actually, let me set up a safeguard. Let's set up a safeguard. Now we're gonna swap here. Just in case it does end up getting his hit hit off. We're going to swap. I do want to get a safeguard off because I can see burns coming through, but hmm, I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. Just wait out this Dynamax. We'll get the Mudsdale in, swagger him up, and we'll do work from there. Because he's going to go into another Max Geyser, considering it is rain. All that good stuff, but we are chilling. Swagger is going to pop. We're going to confuse this thing, raise his attack. I don't care that we raise his attack. It's a special attacker. It's a special attacker, so that's why I did go into that. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Arcanine's going to Snarl once again. That is totally fine by me. Because the Gastron is just here for the Storm Drain. You get a crit on me. What do you mean? We're just here to waste out turns. We are legit here to just waste out turns. Um, he's probably going to go into an Overgrowth after this. Let's see what happens. Oh, it goes into an Ooze. Okay, a little Smart Biscuit there. We do eat, though. We do eat up. I am going to go into the Reflect. Or do I Swagger the Arcanine? He's going to boost his special attack. I really do want to swap here. He's probably going to go into that again. I really do want to swagger. I mean, not swagger. I'm just going to set up the Reflect. And I'm totally going to go into... Actually, no. I'm going to start setting up my Mudsdale. In all honesty. I'm going to start setting up my Mudsdale. I'm going to swap out the Gastron. Get my Mudsdale in here. Swagger that up. Because now we know he's not going to go for the Geyser. He's not going to go for the Geyser. Not a chance. Not a chance. He's going to go for the Ooze. Back over on my Grimmsnarl. And boost his special attack. While we have the screens up, we should be chilling. Swagger comes out here. Yeah, yeet, baby. Own Tempo Mudsdale. I think he's doubling into my, uh... I think he's doubling into my Grimmsnarl. Let's see what happens. 
He's probably gonna go for the ooze. See, Snarl, that's fine. Like, we are uh, physical attacking with our boy Dale. With our boy Dale. And he's gonna go into the ooze over on the Grim Snarl. If he goes for the geyser on my Mudsdale, that would be probably the best read. I would probably look behind me and be like, are you right behind me watching me? He's gonna go for the ooze. Yeah, he's gonna go for the ooze over on the Grim Snarl. Grim Snarl will eat once again. Even though he's special attack boosted here. Um, I'm gonna swagger up again. I mean, we have both the- do we have both the screens up? It's not a big deal. And once we get this mud sail rolling, it's GG, baby. It's GG. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. let's see, let's see what's going on in the info tab. Let's see. We got the light screen. That's wonderful. I don't really see us needing the... Oh, the reflect could be good. The reflect could be really good. I'm gonna set up the reflect. I'm gonna go reflect here. And I'm gonna Dynamax. I am gonna go into a Max Quake. And I am going to take out the Arcanine here. Arcanine's gotta go. Gotta go. Get him out of here. Stop snarling me up and all that good stuff. We can set up the Reflect. If we do survive another turn, which we probably could with the Grim Snarl, because he's not Dynamax anymore, then we'll be chilling. I probably should have just went into the Gujar. He might swap the Arcanine and go into. Does he have any flying Pokemon? Does he have a Togekiss or something? I just looked at his team. Uh, I saw the Bisharp. He could be going into the. No, he's not going to go into the Bisharp because Max Quake would just dump on that too. But if he stays in with the Arcanine, the Arcanine is gone. We are plus two. I would love to get another Swagger off here and get him up to plus four. But right, let's see what happens. Grimstar is going to reflect. Yeah, you, we got both our screens up. This thing is going to be bulky with this old vest. Will O Wisp? Yeah, uh, okay, that's fine. The burn's not going to really do too, too much. We're 414 HP. Bulky boy. Can he hit himself in confusion? This is like his third time doing this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we'll waste a turn there. And we'll be able to get off a Swagger next turn, which is dope. So we can say buy the Arcanine. Going, Mudsdale, big boy. Yes, dude. Mudsdale is an absolute beast. Absolute beast. He's not going to die. I mean, we got this one in the bag, I think. We have this one in the bag. It's game over. It is game over. Like, this guy should just quit now. It's game over. The Mudsdale is set up. We're set up. You got to burn on us. That's fine. The burn's not a big deal. I'm going to swagger him again. Boost his attack again. Just roll out from there. Who's he going into now? The Shinotic. The Shinotic. <laughs> Do I dump that thing? That thing has a sick shiny form. Swagger. Swagger Mudsdale. Max Steel Spike. Bye, Shinotic. <laughs> we had him waste his Dynamax, too, which is huge. Which is huge. This guy is sitting in such a tough position. Swagger. Yeah, plus four Mudsdale, baby. Woo-wee. This actually might be, like, one of the new teams I use on the ladder. I'm really liking it. Kuja's gonna snap out of confusion. What's he gonna go for? Sludge Bomb, that's fine. I don't need Grim Snarl anymore. This is why I'm not worrying about you. This is why I'm not worrying about you, Gudra. Oh, you poisoned us. We were gonna survive another turn. Probably not now. Max Steel Spike should be able to take out the Shenonic, no problem. Attack plus four. Boom! See you later! See you later, dude! <laughs> this is match. This, this is match. I said this already. GG. Gonna go 2-0 with this squad. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This team, baby. This team's too strong. It's really good. It's really good. Like I said, the top player, the well, what's it called? I don't did I say this in the beginning? But some guy in season two got top. He got top. Rank one with this team. Season two or season three. He got rank one with this team now. Uh we'll go into Arcanine here. We can totally snarl things up. Just kind of pester things. Again, I'm not worried about the Gudra. I'll go into a snarl here. Just just to pester on the Gudra. And the Bisharp's gonna come out here. Um, but Sharp is gonna go first. That is gonna be a scary thing, but we're chilling. We are chilling. We have the reflect up. And Timmy, it's gonna pop too, which is gonna drop its attack. But Sharp's defiant. Never mind, it's not gonna drop his attack. He's gonna raise his attack. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we just go into a heat wave here. To be honest, because it's super effective against the Bisharp. And we just roll out with a max quake over on the Gudra. Because this will take out the Gudra. Bye bye, Gudra. See you next fall. <laughs> heat wave. But Sharp avoided. Dude, get out my face. Get out my face. We do a little bit to the Gudra. We get a burn. No burn. Stone Edge is going to pop. Ooh, that's scary. That is scary. Bye, Arcanine. All right, Arcanine's going. Gets a crit. <laughs> Bogus. But you're not taking out my Dale. You're not taking out my Dale. I'm going to bring it down to a 2v1. Hydro Pump comes in here. You missed. How do you miss that giant horse? You missed that giant horse, and now you're gone. And now you are gone. See ya, Gudra. You're gone here. We're just one tap of things left and right. It's game, set, match. Game, set, match. We're going to a high horsepower over on the Bisharp. And we're going to bring out our boy. Our Gastro. 
We know Sing out speeds, but he's not gonna do. She's not gonna do too too much. We have we have double super effective Earth or not Earth Ground Boost going into him. He's done. He's done. Plus four on the Mudsdale. G G G G. Hey dude, I'm glad we dominated these two matches. We played the first one very well. That was just a very good match, and this one we kind of just dominated out on. We kind of just rolled out with the Mudsdale. Did some work. Uh, and then high horsepower, high horsepower stab. Let's go. Go ahead, cancel your battle with your shiny Bishart. Does not make a difference. Iron Head into my Mudsdale, trying to get him to flinch. Why does everyone want to flinch my Mudsdale? Earth power, yeah, yeah. Well, let's take out. This could potentially take out. Nope, does not. But we got this one in the bag. He's probably gonna make me flinch. Nope, no flinch. Game over. Boom. Yes, sir. I'm loving Mudsdale. I'm telling you, this is gonna be my new team on the ladder. I'm gonna be using this a lot to try to push up rankings. I've been playing so well with it and winning most of my matches with them. Let's get it, guys. That's how it's done. All hell, Mudsdale. Mudsdale is an absolute unit. Once you set up with the Grimstar with the screens, he is so bulky, nothing's going to take him out, and he'll just start one-tapping everything once you get a swagger up. Like, it's game over. I'm glad we got to show off this team how we actually did it with one really good match, and we played it kind of slow and used other Pokemon, and the next match we kind of just dominated with the Mudsdale and showed off the power of him. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.